What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Cowcast. This is episode five, week five of our Cowcast we're doing here on the Sean Bod channel. Make sure to hit that follow button if you enjoy what you see coming up. So tonight we got some good topics. As usual, I'm joined by Nick on my right. We got Sean below me. We got Lewis with no camera this week. And then we got Hello. Frankie. Frankie's new to the uh, the voice chat and stuff. He's a regular viewer, so we brought him on the show. He brings up all Hello, the good... Hello, ladies. Oh, yeah. He brings up all How the good you? people. Fantastic. <laughs> Look down, back up. You were in a podcast. You're in a podcast. Damn right. Frankie. Frankie's a boss. All right. So that's why we asked him to have him with us. Ask him to... I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. Yes, so let's move on to the Fallout 4 discussion. Statement. F statement, teacher. What? I, I just want to state that uh, the reason why Lewis doesn't have a webcam is because he sent us a 8K YouTube video and his webcam exploded somehow. Yeah, it wasn't even yeah, hooked up I to made, the computer. Yeah, yeah. I, I made a mess. I made a mess. Spontaneously <laughs> combusted. It's spontaneously so you, combusted. Damn right. I just had to get that, you know. YouTube, YouTube's allowing 8K video. We'll okay. discuss that later, I guess. Give you a topic for another. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, Fallout 4. Basically, everyone knows the trailer was released this past week. What was it, last Tuesday? A week ago now? Was it? I don't know. Last week. Really? It was released last oh week. So, uh, it's basically confirming that Fallout 4 was announced. And go, Nick. What do you think? Yo, let's go. Fallout 4 confirmed. It's going to be good, maybe. It's Just everyone's great. bitching about it looking like crap. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Is that oh, all no. you have to say? <laughs> Okay, I will say this. I watched the trailer. I was super pumped because, you know, Fallout 4 confirmed. I said it last week. Fallout 4 confirmed. I was correct. And, uh, yeah. But pretty much the the trailer for it, it didn't show too much about it. It was weird because it showed, like, a lot of flashbacks, in, which makes people think that there's going to be a much better story relating back to, like, other characters or something like that. And, uh... The one thing, though, that was kind of weird is that a lot of people were going crazy because they're like, oh, my God, it's 2015. The graphics don't look that good and stuff because apparently everything was in engine. I don't know. I mean, yeah, pretty good. I don't, I don't know. know. The graphics look decent. I don't think yeah. they're, they're not cutting edge like The Witcher yeah. or Battlefield games or something when they were released, but I think they're decent but, enough that they will hold yeah. out for a giant RPG world. I Yeah, I'd rather them be like, not like crazy Witcher graphics and have like a giant like world to go run around in. So, I, mean, right. I don't mind it. My computer and won't like be Nick... able to run the Witcher, so might as well run for <laughs> And and Nick brought up the point me and him are talking about this because we are also talking about the uh the graphics, but uh Skyrim has many mods that Nick's used personally, so it's uh it's like you can mod the game very easily on PC at least. So mm -hmm. I think the graphics complaint is a very minor one in Quite nitpicky, in my opinion. That's true. Hi, right, Frankie and Lewis. What do you guys got to say about Fallout 4? Uh, personally, I have never really been a uh, Fallout fan. Heathen, get out of here! We don't want your uh, peanuts! Last one Burn him with nuclear fire. <laughs> <laughs> was, was too slow for me. Just saying. Just my opinion. So the game with the, the Fallout the 3 was too... Ass. The Witcher's badass, but Fallout it's 3 was too slow pace. Guy. All right, yeah, all right, Frankie, go for it. All right, so um, I've actually been putting together a video on the trailer because there's a lot of people who are doing trailer analysis, you know, every point, like, oh my God, look at this Nuka-Cola bottle. It's shaped like a rocket, like Half-Life 3 confirmed, like it's all over the place. <laughs> there was one review that literally just pushed me over the edge to like, oh my God, I, I need to make a video about this. It was a review made by some dude. And it was like, well, we see some hints to the trailer that this time around we might be playing as the dog. The camera follows the dog around and we see that the dog has been living for 50 years or something. It's like, what? how are you making these assumptions? So I, I went down like, this This guy has to be joking. It's like, no, no, he's, he, he was completely serious. And it was stuff like, oh, we see here we will have super mutant followers. And uh, apparently there will be two games in DLC. And it's like, he's just jumping to conclusions everywhere. I'm like, ah, oh, no, no, stop doing it. So I'm, I'm going to upload very soon a 20-minute video just poking holes on everything within the trailer. And regards to the graphics, um, I don't think it's a bad idea what they're doing. 
like uh, the Bethesda studio right now, they're currently in. We do not like take any interviews about this shit. We, we're not commenting on it anymore. There was some dude that went out on Twitter and literally said like, we don't care if people think the graphics are bad. Like we, we don't care about these people. I don't know what game they're playing. It looks awesome. Um, if you take some comparison shots, which I, which I actually do in my video, the old fallouts are extremely bleak. They are boring as shit. And they have changed a lot of things around. Like uh, everybody noticed like, oh, that ass on the vault suit. Everybody saw the vault suit. Yeah. The and the vault ass. suit, yes, high definition ass with no crack. And that was the big <laughs> thing. Um, the definition of it all, it's more like painting. Now, there's a difference between aesthetics of a game and graphics of a game. And they are definitely going to aesthetics. If you just look at the trailer now and you look at, say, uh, the dog, which I will call dog meat for the sake of simplicity, his fur is not like The Witcher 3 with super uh, FX, hair effects by NVIDIA and stuff. It looks more like a painting. And that is the kind of feeling they're going all over. They want to keep the aesthetics. Now, I also mentioned this in my video. Maybe I'm just defending laziness at this point, but it seems to me they really wanted to keep that fall out the aesthetics without going too far in. And I'm happy they did that. And as I think it was Sean that mentioned, mods. If you want super realistic shit, just do it. Or download someone else that did it. I think it's going to be awesome, guys, and I'm so, I'm so excited about it. It's going to be good. But yeah, I, I like what you're saying because it's like the aesthetics. You know, when you when you think about it, Fallout Three, the aesthetics was like greeno vision. Everything was frigging green because you know, I don't know. I guess that's just what they went for. It made sense because it's like okay, everything got nuked. That's fine. And it's like Fallout New Vegas. Everything is like orange, and you're like, okay, that's fine because because there is sand. Yeah, it's this. They're sand and stuff. And then the painting thing, and you know, like the bright, vibrant colors and stuff, it kind of makes sense for the whole, like, it, like setting that they're doing for Fallout 4, because it's in Boston, which, like, apparently didn't really get nuked or anything like that, like, according to all the other games. So, it would make sense for it to be a little bit more vibrant and not, you know, grim as fuck. As well, you do stuff. mention it, Nick, but there are three key points to, like, how the setting will look. One point is that most of the buildings are intact, and that tells me the bombs didn't actually go off on the city itself. Uh, and we see like the sky is like super clear. When when the wall dweller goes out, it's like uh, nighttime is like dusky. But when we see the dog running under the bridge, we see the sky. It's like perfectly blue. It's it's beautiful. But then when you look at the Deathclaw dude, like it's just yeah. nuclear meltdown. Like oh, fuck yeah. you. Like this has to be some sort of impact zone. And if we're gonna do a fetch quest over there, oh man, the fun we're gonna have. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait till level 20 for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's third DLC for me. Uh, I like that yeah. shit. Do we, it looks was, good, though. What was the level cap in Fallout 3? 30? 30 at first. Th th I, think. Uh, I think it was 20. No, it was 20, wasn't was it? it? 20? And then it, was, it was I think 20. it was 20. It was and then after the DLC, the Brotherhood stuff, it was 30. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It, it went up with five from a couple of DLC. I think two of them. Brotherhood of Steel, I think, went up. Five, did I? Who the hell knows? All I know is that they've definitely upped the level caps in all their games since. Quite <laughs> a bit more. Yeah, what is it? Skyrim was 30 cap, right? Uh, No, and I think uh, what they did with Skyrim, I don't, I don't know how high it is now. I think it no, was like Skyrim didn't have a cap, did it? It was, it was like, f it had, I think it was 100. I think that was a cap, but then they put in like, like a prestige mode. Or something ah. where it's like you can reset your level, but I guess you keep all like your stats or something like that. That's so interesting. You can have like a hundred plus or something. Okay, interesting. It's weird. Yeah. Truly. Well, I think I think the whole like art style of it looks pretty cool. I didn't think you like. Yeah. Sure. Like I I actually did think like these graphics are strange. I didn't think they were bad. They were like, I wouldn't. I would have expect. I would have actually mm -hmm. expected gritty graphics. But if that's what they're going for with the arts, RT like aesthetic look then that's what they're doing and that i think it'll be fine but i'm just saying i i i, I see where they're coming from but i would have expected something else i think that's what a lot of other people thought like actual yeah. like really like detailed graphics but it i don't think it's needed to make it a good game i don't know like apparently and this is just according to like a couple comments i saw here but it said that the game is running on a new engine. Because a lot of people are like, oh my god, they're using New Vegas engine or, or some old ass engine or something like that. And apparently it's using a new engine, which, you know, it's fine. Doesn't what I read about that, like, to me, looking at the footage, it definitely looks like the creation engine, which is the same thing Bethesda has been, like, upgrading over the years. 
Yeah. But uh, there has been mentionings of like, oh, they have a completely new engine for it. However, the sources of these things so far, what I have seen, like maybe they have some other sources, but they were really like, oh yeah, I just came from the test and they fired me. I'm going to take all their secrets with me and you will know it all. <laughs> and it's all those posts and it's like, yeah, it's bullshit, yeah. it's bullshit, it's bullshit. So Yeah, I did, sl I did see that some guy did actually name it and he got like a crap ton of thumbs up for it, but I have no idea. <laughs> Regardless though, it's I still think it looks quite a bit better than the other Fallout, so... Are we confirmed that it is in Boston? Yeah. Oh, trust me, it's in Boston. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> One thousand percent, it's in Boston. I didn't, I yeah, didn't they have, really like, Paul Revere statues and all okay, that. Okay, I didn't bullshit. really look at it yeah. close enough to recognize whether it was Boston or not. If you want to know more about the Fallout 4 trailer, follow Hank's on YouTube. Yeah. Follow yeah, guy. follow that guy. I'm pointing down. I'm pointing down. Follow that guy. I don't know where I am. Yeah, <laughs> I'm believe. looking at the Skype screen. That away. I, I heard from a friend like on on my tab it says like follow Lewis, and I'm like okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's one guy it saying what? What? Wh <laughs> 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 uh, Wait, does it? Yeah. That's I haven't hilarious. seen it actually. Uh, I just heard that from a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where does it say that? Nowhere. Don't worry about oh, it. We're, we're, yeah, we'll, we'll take it in the break, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, we ready to move on to another topic? We got more Fallout 3 or Fallout 4 stuff to say? Go Fallout 4 from. So, super pumped. Let's super go. Super pumped. Um, Can't wait for you yes, 3. Sir. Don't pre order. Be an informed consumer. Um, <laughs> let's go. Be an yeah. informed consumer. Don't pre order. Hashtag no pre order. know that from our last yeah, video. Don't, don't video ever pre order. Before. Okay, on to topic 3. Steam refunds. Two. Oh, yeah. To topic 2. Topic three. Yeah. Shut up, Nick. Introductions count as one. Uh, <laughs> so we're moving on to jail breakout. So I'm going to link an article into the chat. It is an article about two killers escaping from a New York prison using power tools. So how did they get them? Yeah, and they left a sticky note with a smiley face. Somehow they broke out of the jail with power tools and then escaped. And like straight Shawshank stuff too. They went like through pipes and they cut through like pipes and all that. That's like prison break to the. How, how do like, not notice that? Like how are they it's not? Right, so we're going to discuss the actual like, event. And the two murderers went through the pile of rubble and dirt, <laughs> five hundred yards, <laughs> and came out the shit-smelling foulness, smelling like roses. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. They left to have a nice day, with the very racist Chinese face on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, it really is. It's right there. Uh, so basically, the qu real question is, how, how did they get out and how did they get power tools? Well, I think we got the yeah. get out kind of figured. Um, uh, what right. they seem to be questioning is like, well, how did they find? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it like this. They're prisoners. They have a lot of free time on their hands. They're going to ask questions, you know? <laughs> You get people over that might know something. Maybe they've been down there a few times before. They're checking the shit out. But the big, big question is, power tools. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's, not like, it's not like they made, like, a shank or something and stabbed guards and worked their way out or something, or they found a shovel or something. It's... Caused a prison riot. Or no, they went total stealth on this bitch. <laughs> with power tools. <laughs> well, Black and Decker. For fuck's sake, you can't even drill a goddamn safe without the cops hearing. <laughs> what do you. I played the Black game. Black and Decker, <laughs> man. I played the game. <laughs> we have learned from Payday. <laughs> Those drills, man. Get civilians it's, down. That's crazy, though. I, I know, like, I, I was looking on, some, on the Twitter feeds about this whole thing. And, you know, they've been, like, questioning all these people, like, like an alleged like female accomplice that works at the prison. They questioned this um, construction crew that came in earlier. You know, they're trying to figure out all this stuff. At the same point, everyone's like, "Man, how they how they get out?" And they they're kind of like overlooking. By the way, there's two guys that like killed people running around. So uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're fucking gone, dude. They're 20 miles away from Canada. I, you can easily hike 20 miles in a day or two. Like, no fucking way that they're still in the United States. But like. I don't know. At the same point, they do have to look at, like, who the fuck gave them blueprints, who told them this shit, like, where the drills come yeah. from. All this stuff, it still needs to be figured out, even if they technically don't find the guys, even though that's what they should be looking for right now. But they do have to figure out a third party to blame, because there's no way that people that just were in the prison in general 
had blueprints, knew a way out exactly, knew what to cut, knew how to actually do it efficiently and when to do it. There's too many ifs and buts about it that aren't answered yet, in my opinion. I, 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 Sean, I think you're giving them too much credit. If you look at the picture with the New York governor, Andrew Kimona, when he's like looking at the hole from the outside, like, oh, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> like, yeah. how they do that? If you look at it, it's like, it's one perfect hole in like a wall of piping. But I that's think the there was a lot of luck leaked. here. That's the only picture that's leaked because technically they uh, broke through a bunch of other, like, uh, I think they said some like crawl space and then they went up somewhere and like all these other different yeah. things. I don't know the exact Well, yeah, yeah, sure, but my right point there. was that it seems to be like one opening in this entire wall. What if like they actually open that area up and it's like, oh, piping, prison escape over. Very like, true. Like I think Very there true. was a lot of luck involved with this. That's all, yeah. I just want to know like who decided, huh, we're going to put our piping Oh yeah, let's put it right behind the cells. Great plan. We'll no, no, and no, make no, it no. accessible too. No, no. The, well, I don't think they counted up prisoners getting power tools. Yeah, Nick, but the, still. No, the real thing you gotta look at is not the pipes behind it, but the half-inch thick wall yeah. that looks like drywall. Yeah, it's like try to take your t you know toothbrush and get through that. Like it's not gonna happen. <laughs> right. I but like, I, I just think it's that debatable. to me, I think that wall's kind of thin <laughs> to be in jail cell. It does. It from the picture here. I'm looking at. It yeah, looks like it's like a half inch thick. Like yeah, it looks like my walls are thicker. To be honest, like you could probably punch through that. It looks like. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Is no, it no, metal? No. It's probably metal though. What, but, probably, like, now I need to look at this because now I'm getting like, really. Like you see, the, you see this one picture where the, like the governor's looking down at the hole that they drilled out, and it's just like there's like a perfect walkway right behind there. I never yeah, understood that's, why that's prisons do that. Part. It's like, sure, okay, you need to, like, maintain it and stuff and all that. And you need pipes to actually go to, you know. Yeah, the, the only answer for that is piping. That's it. There's, yeah. no, there's but, nothing. But why perfect. the fuck did why you did put make it inches so away easy? from your, your place? That doesn't even look uh, like Again, the answer, again, is piping. Because piping. Like, uh, if you do it that way, like, okay, <laughs> now the electrician will speak. If you do it this way, it's highly efficient because you don't need that much plumbing. You don't need to draw the extra lines, so to say. Oh my, an extra it's, it's foot just and a half to put money. an extra pipe from the thing. Sean, yeah, yeah, the it's just money. That's how easy it is. Well, it's, it is money, Sean. When you have to do that it for... It is money, but when you have to do the that same for point. A thousand the prisons cells. are sure short on it, am I right? Well, but the point of a jail is to keep your prisoners in. Not letting them just walk out free because you fucked up on piping. That's my point. I don't know. I, I, think, I think just <laughs> the whole issue is they fucked up on letting them get power tools. So I'm, I'm, that's... Uh, that's a pretty big issue. I think that's Piping a big thing crutch. is one thing, but... But no, I really... Been... Like, I understand for security reasons they can't, like, you know, explain the full story, but, like, let's say you actually get up on the catwalk. I'm just gonna assume that, yeah, sure, getting from your cell to the catwalk might be one thing, but then you need to get outside, and there are still some pretty big walls and, you know, electric fences and guard dogs and stuff, like, did they have a, like... They, they just went through uh, that piping thing, and they went right into that sewer drain. What's up with America making, like, man-sized manholes everywhere? Yeah, they went through the sewer drain, <laughs> out through a sewer... They are called manholes. ...outside the prison. Oh, fair enough. This is, this <laughs> is ridiculous. This is true. <laughs> they are called I, I manholes. Have a, I have a theory. Yeah. I have a theory. Aliens? Yes. That's a good okay. No, uh... Black and Decker sponsored him, and that's how they got out. <laughs> Black and Decker. That's, that's, that's how it was. <laughs> that's how it was. Black and Decker. They wanted to test Black their new girl. power tools. What better way? That would be hilarious. They just like come up with a tagline now. It's oh like, to break out of prison, <laughs> Black and Decker. <laughs> <laughs> the most yeah. silent power tools ever imagined. You what can break it? out at night. Hold on, I gotta bring something up here. It says, uh, guy in the chat says, did you know that breaking from prison is legal in Germany? Oh, shit. So if you break out, uh, it's not down. legal to break out. But if they broke out, you're not allowed to like put extra charges on them, because oh, okay. the, well, what is it? The mentality is like the, the the human spirit wants to be free. So if they manage to become free, you can't like add a charge like you escaped prison. No, that's our bad. Yeah, that's true. So that's what okay, it's. It's still illegal. It's it's not like well oh, he's out. Boy. Don't do anything anymore. No, he still got a service sentence. Oh, okay, darn. <laughs> it's gonna commit all my crimes in Germany. <laughs> They're crazy, there, man. They're crazy. German yeah. dude, stop it! Lots of right wing dudes. They'll get you. No, get no, they won't. If the prison guards don't, they will. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very true. Prisons, not the most okay. secure place in the world, apparently. So 
This leads to the, the real question. If you were in prison, how would you break out? Uh, you know, Get I would have a bad time there because I, I don't know if you've heard, but big guys are I knew it. looked at, at <laughs> is very luscious, and uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know. So I, I thought you were just going to say, like, I couldn't get through the hole or something. <laughs> I thought that's where it was Oh, oh there, there'll be a lot of holes in the fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. There'll be a lot of that. Oh, Lewis, we got to make you squeal more. Come on, Lewis. Get you. Get to, oh, we get got some fresh fish butter. in here, man. <laughs> what is Morgan Freeman doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Nick, how would you break out? Um, 100% sex acts. Yep. No, not really. That probably wouldn't work too well. Sex act. Sex act. I don't know. Um, I mean, the good old prison riot is a good way to go. I mean, you might not get out, but get out of the cell, I guess. You know, the first step in a I know, long line of getting is, out. It's a very good way of getting shot as well. It, if indeed. not stabbed by someone else that is just like... Just lo like just in the loony bin, and everything is just hectic and shit. It's like I'm gonna go kill people in here, and then you might. You know, I, I won't recommend it. It's true, but oh, if you do room. get killed, I mean, you're technically not but, really in prison anymore. But then, there, but, <laughs> but then there's the prison. No, you lose if you die. Uh, then there's what? the there's the prison riot that you orchestrate. Okay. That like people, all the people are on your are on your side. Yeah. Then it would work. Mm. But you're not riding. But then really you're riding better. Planner. But you're not riding Pretty. against like another group in the prison. You're riding against like the prison itself. Pretty much, yeah. Like <laughs> the, the guards. Prison. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, but you know those kind of things they never really get anywhere because as soon as if the prisoners actually like the few times that have happened, like in Guatemala, it happened recently. Like they actually get outside and there's just men with guns. Like stop, stop. Okay, oh, fire. That's, that's yeah. true. As long as I get out of the cell, I think I'm happy. You know, if you could burn some shit along the way, why not? Maybe you get a break so. after lunch, like you, you yeah. know, you, you'll stay out of the cell. Come on. Exactly. No That's good enough for me. Prison riot. I dig, right now. I dig myself out with a spoon. Okay. Because that's the way to do it, man. I spent 30 years digging like a two-foot gap in my wall to squeeze through. And, I, and how would you hide the hole? Maybe a post. You know them wardens, they've been looking at that video, man. They, they know, the posters. Uh-uh, they're a big no-no about this point. Yeah. Small pictures, nothing else. Man, you can't have like a giant uh, pin-up poster like I've seen in other places where they put the whole line. Well, if, you, if, you, if you're smart enough, you can like surgically remove your arms and your legs, so the hole has to be smaller. And uh, or could be smaller, so I could cover it with a yeah. small picture, and then I could get out fast enough. You can have like people, like a dirty doctor outside, surgically reattach your arms and your legs. Yeah, you know this is my brother, who's an engineer who has a 4.0 GPA, saying this absolute <laughs> shitty response. Hey, I mean, no, no, trust works. him. He's an engineer. This will work. <laughs> Damn yeah. right, Frankie knows. It could very <laughs> well work. Frankie brother. knows. <laughs> High five. Nope. You gotta do like the TV series where you get tattooed and you go save your friend and you get the schematics and all <laughs> plans on your body. That's the way. Jeez. I'll come in like, I know what you did for me, Nate. I'm gonna get you out of here. But how, yeah. Frank? Yeah, then just the music starts and I start undressing. <laughs> and you just, <laughs> yeah, just like, there's no tattoos. And Nate's like, oh shit. I spell yeah. it right. There you go. I spelt it right. Finally, I'm an engineer. Engineer. Just what is, engineer. is that even English? No. What I is that? So that's like. Okay. I don't even know. <laughs> Africa <laughs> tribe, small one that you don't know. Uh, what about you, Sean? What would you do to break out of prison? I just said it. No, not necessarily. I want to hear more. Oh, it, I would do it exactly like the way that the Prison Break. It, the, there's a TV show called Prison Break, oh, yeah. where uh. His name is Michael Schofield, gets all the schematics on his body, but he hides it underneath, like, different tattoos, so you can't tell that it's an actual schematic. And then he's got, like, different ways of getting through everything, because he's uh, in architecture and helped, like, build the prison that his brother is staying in, so... It was ridiculous. So, so Sean... Uh, How would you actually... So Sean... Cool. Get out. What? <laughs> that, that plan requires a brother that's willing to tattoo his entire body and go into prison for you. 
Maybe I'm you're the one in prison, the, the, the question was never stated that you had to be in prison to break out of prison. What? I got you there. Um... I could break into prison and then break out of it at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could. <laughs> Very well could. Well, okay. I don't know why you would. But, yeah. <laughs> uh. If I was to ever go to prison, Sean, it's probably for a good reason, so don't break me out. <laughs> okay. Anyway. We'll I'll land be, a helicopter. I'll be calling you. I'll be calling you in an hour, telling you I need to be broken out. Yeah. Because you, 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 you have a solid plan, my friend. I do have a solid plan. Okay, Lock Lewis. Hard. Lewis, you never told us the way that you would do it. You told us the way you wouldn't do it. Oh my! Is, is Lewis okay, so here? Probably has his mic moved. He's in prison. It's over. He's in prison. Game over. Lewis Game never, over. Lewis won't break out. Get the tattoo gun out. <laughs> get, oh shit! Get, <laughs> fuck! Who's got enough money to get tattoos? I don't. That's a lot of money, and, man. Uh, I know a few guys. We'll get some ink. Don't worry. I can get some cheap tattoos. <laughs> Are tattoos cheap in Sweden? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Okay. Like, I know so many tattoo artists. So, like, if I wanted tattoos, they'd be free. It's like my sister's father has been doing tattoo for... No, no, wait. My sister's... That would be my dad. My sister's <laughs> husband has been doing tattoos for like 30 years or something. He's amazing. He tattooed, you know, um, The Shining. You know, the Here's Johnny. He did that on his underarm, and it's like, it's perfect. That's pretty cool. He did it to so himself? Here's Johnny. Yeah, he did it to himself. That's like, he used the right hand, did it on the left underarm. I mean, when I heard he did it himself, I was like, dude. Dude, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, yeah, Frank, I, I can do tattoos for you as well. I was like, oh, I'll think about it. So if there's ever any need, I, I got my I got my fair. We got a new right. viewer or follower. Yeah. Thank you, Tiago. Oh, terrific. Follower hype! It's okay. All right, Lewis, you never told us how you would break out of prison. You told us how, why stuff would be bad. Why would it, why would it be uh, hard? But you never told us how. There's kids here, and I really can't say. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you would bribe the guards with candy. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, yes. on to, actually, before we uh, head on to our next topic, we're gonna do a quick intermission. We got about a three and a half minute video for you. It's the usual weekly vlog. So enjoy. Yeah. We're going to Buffalo Wild Wings! No, we're going to Chipotle! Chipotle. <laughs> What's that video? <laughs> That's great. Blog viewers. Today on whoever the hell this guy is, is amazing vlog. I get lost. Yeah. Adventure. The dog and Finn the human. The fun will never end. It's adventure time. Hey guys, it's been like 30, 35 minutes. Um, still lost. Uh, keep in mind, Springfield isn't like Beverly Hills, so we're not, I mean... We haven't died yet. We haven't died yet, thank you.
Okay, we are back from our short intermission. Yeah. Oh, and the Skype is messed up. Hold on. There no, we go. <coughs> okay, so pictures are back. And I completely messed up and forgot to ask Frankie how he would break out of jail. And I'm sure he has some elaborate plan, and I'm really oh, looking forward to hear it. So go for it, Frankie. Look, the plan would change depending on what country and first and foremost. Like, rooftops obviously works in Guatemala, you know, the south regions of uh, the Americanos. But if I were to be in America, which everyone else seems to be in this little scenario, I'm just, why hasn't anyone done the obvious answer? You get power tools and look for a man-shaped manhole. That is, that is the dry house. <laughs> Shit. That's brilliant. Nobody's all about that. It's proven. Well, well, it's worked. I've it's seen it. That is how I would do it. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I totally thought about it, but I was like, nah, I gotta come up with something better because that would be stupid. But yet, I know. the right answer is great. the best answer. That'd be the stupid. Right that worked, works. man. That worked. The worked. right answer is the one that worked the, no. the first time in 150 years. I don't think it's the first time in 150 years that someone's years. breaking it out of prison. No, 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 no that prison. Was, oh, and that oh, old that prison. prison. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's an old prison, though. Yeah, that's an old that's prison. Pretty old. Definitely. Bet you the pipes are that old. Well, maybe that's Damn why they broke plumbers. out because it was freaking old. Damn plumbers, man! 150 right. years ago. So now that we heard Frankie's down. terrific breakout plan, because the right answer is the. The correct answer is the right answer. I don't even know what he said. But Damn right. power tools. Power, power tool. tools. On to topic three. Okay. Topic four now since introductions oh, kind of. Shut up. <laughs> topic four. Yeah. I tried to fix it. All right. So, Hatred the Game is a twin stick shooter that is literally about going out and murdering people. The goal is to kill as many people as you can and not die from the cops. So a twin stick shooter is like basically top down, you literally move and you fire with like one stick and you move with the other kind of thing. So what do you guys think? If you, I'm assuming you guys all at least try to check out the, the video. So what do you guys think of the violence in it? So what a lot of people are saying is that it's like black and white and it has a really red blood so it's really violent and obviously going out randomly killing people and stabbing people in the head and stuff is not necessarily like good, but what do you guys think? Or necessary? Uh, the, I think okay. necessary. I was gonna uh. say this is that the um, I, forget, I think it was like Polygon or someone like that, one of those big uh, games news journal things. They basically wrote an article where they're like, "Oh my God, most violent game of the year." You know, it was Polygon, and they wrote what? three. Yeah, they wrote a lot, and. <laughs> Basically, they were just like, oh my god, this game's crazy, you're gonna kill people, it's like Satanistic, all that crap. Oh my god, this has never happened before, what we'll do? Yeah, Think about this never happened like, before. Oh, there's violence in video games, oh no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> What's Postal? I've never heard of that game. <laughs> yeah, it's... Wait, baby Jesus. Yeah, That's basically. all I heard on Fox News. Yeah, they, they just like blew it out of proportion, just like, you know, media does with a lot of things. And yes. when you look at the game, and you compare it to a lot of other games, it's not necessarily that... I don't want to say violent, but it's not that graphic. I mean, like, sure, you kill people, you go up to them, you execute them, and shit like that. There's only, like, so many executions in the game. I think there's, like, maybe, like, a dozen, something like that. Yeah, that but, right. yeah, and then, like, people don't realize, oh, yeah, remember that Mortal Kombat game that came out this year? That, like, <laughs> that is like cool ripped people's heads <laughs> off and, like, ripped their chest open and shoved their head in their chest and, like, explode their body? Yeah. The, my favorite yeah. one is when, I can't remember the guy's name, but he, like, spins his, he spins his, like, sword, his samurai sword, and then he, like, lifts his character up with, like, force and, like, spins him into the, into the blade and just, like, chops his head off. Yeah. Well, his entire yeah, body. Right. It's like a grinder. And there's none of that in hatred. It's literally mm -hmm. like, press, press Q to execute. Yeah. And then you just go forward and like, bam, in the head. And then he mm -hmm. walks over like, yeah, that's, my, that's just my day. I think a big part of it, like, a person that did a very good like, uh, look at it was Total Biscuit. Like, check out Total Biscuit, Total Habit, whatever the fuck his yeah. channel name is these days. Um, he, he talked a lot about, like, a lot of games have already done this, but hatred gained such a reputation, most likely... You know, because they really try to stereotype this long-haired dude with, like, a trench coat. And the only thing you can do, the only thing you can do is murder innocent people. Like, if you go outside and you're like, ah, oh, well, I, I want to talk to these people first or something. 
uh, no, you can't do that. Like, the cops will automatically fire upon you because the dude wants to die. A point he did not make that I want to do is I think that game got so much publicity because there is nothing likable with the main character. Like, in the beginning, he's all, like, greedy and shit, like, uh, I fucking hate this world and everyone in it. They're feeding off the fucking carcass of this society. That's I'm gonna bullshit. go out and I'm gonna kill everyone. That is and literally what he sounds like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it really is. Did you voice act? <laughs> I, I do. Thank you. Um, he, that's literally what it sounds like. That is what he's saying. He has these really corny lines, and there is nothing likable about him. Compare him to another person that does basically the same thing, GTA 5, Trevor. Trevor has a lot of shit we love about him, but he is most likely worse, because he doesn't go out and just, oh, I have decided to kill everyone until I die. <laughs> he, 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 he doubts his own mortality. He will never die. He'll just kill anyone that he feels like. He's as bad, if not even worse, because you actually get to know all, a lot of these characters he's like out there to kill, like the famous torture scene that Total Biscuit does a really good part on. Uh, hatred just really blew out of proportion, and it's not, like, it's bad, but it's not as bad as people make it out, because it's as bad as uh, so many things that has been going on for, since video games became video games. And it's ridiculous that Hatred gets all this publicity because it's not really a good game, but the physics are awesome. It's a really yeah. cool looking game sometimes, but it runs like shit. <laughs> so this studio, they will get a lot of money and hopefully they will actually make a good game after this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good that, that is one thing yeah. with the game though, like, like the physics and crap, like, like I, I mean, I don't play that many twin stick shooters or anything like that, but... They were really cool. Just, just compared to like anything I've seen recently, like, that shit looked really good. Yeah. Like, just the physics-wise, like, the fire spread, and the, like, shooting down walls and stuff like that. Oh, like, oh my god. That is really good. But, of course, you know, now it gets all this bad rep because, you know, you kill everyone. Yeah, but it's hair, though. It's hair, man. That, that is but, but at the same point, what other game have you seen that just says, go slaughter this? Oh, or uh, Postal. Of, postal. <laughs> the <laughs> postal. The first Postal was nothing more than killing people. The second Postal actually had objectives where it was like, go to work and kill everyone that go lives there. Uh, the first okay. Postal was literally just like, here is a city, here is the entire town. This is a farming simulator where you kill everyone with your gun. What is it? Um, okay. Called the, like that airport mission in Call of Duty. Yep. Which had an option to skip. Yeah, had an option to skip. Yeah, which got banned in Russia. Well, of course. Uh, well, I wonder no. why. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> no, just let everyone know you walk in with an M240 and shoot everyone in the near uh, in Russia. But there's a big dis there's a big distinction. Like I don't know about you, but when I played that mission, you know, the first second you get like holy shit, and then you kind of get like trubbed off of it. But in hatred, you don't care for even more than a second. You literally just go around and like shoot, shoot, shoot for points, mm -hmm. shoot for points. You have, and I think that was the thing that people really got up to. It's like, oh my god, he's, he's just killing everyone indiscriminately. Oh, like, yeah. It's, I, yeah, it's I like think the, that is a big difference. Like how much you really care about these points for pixels because in, in the mission, in uh, the Russian thing, there were no points. You could literally, you, you, you didn't need to shoot anyone apart from the cop shooting back at you. Your, your buddies would take care of the rest. So, right. like, there was at least some decision to be made there. But in Hatred, it's like, if you don't shoot people, you lose. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Well, that's the thing, you know, it's like different, like, game rules and stuff, you know, like in that mission in Call of Duty, you only have to shoot the cops because, you know, the cops are your enemy. They're actually trying to kill you. You don't kill the cops, you don't win. You can't pass the level. I mean, you can skip the level, but, you know, besides the fact. But it's like in Hatred, if you don't do any of that stuff, if you don't kill the cops, if you don't actually kill all the set number of civilians you have to do or property damage whatever it is you can't beat the mission yeah no it's you don't have an option with it yeah you don't have an it, option you don't you a, have an option not to play the game you have an option not to buy the game that is true <laughs> but like at the same point if you look at gta gta is such a bad game like you can just do whatever you want but at the same point that game's not based around it you know like GTA 5, there's like so much crap. Uh, I don't know if you played GTA 1, it was kind of based around that. <laughs> GTA well, 1, yeah. well, I'm talking about the newer ones, but like... Yeah, yeah, sure, but like, like the franchise has evolved pretty yes. well over the years. Exactly. But oh. like, these people aren't evolving, they're starting off this way in a, an age where they should know like a set point of there should be a decision of if you're killing them or if you're talking to them first kind of deal. Right, so I have a... I have a so I guess it's moving more towards like the whole violence and whether or not like not necessarily just hatred, but whether or not like there should be like this type of violence in games, like just the random killing of people. 
and there's like you always hear like video games are changing the way kids are like acting and like if they're going to kill no, random no, people no, it, no they're not i know i know i'm no, just give, putting out the point place. putting out the point yeah i'm sorry if i'm talking about putting like, out that, the point it, just gets me. it really gets me comes controversial shit get okay. ready <laughs> get ready <laughs> so here's what fox news thinks <laughs> this games, is, so they're games saying they're, they're like if you if you're going to kill random people in a thing they're, you're going to go out and do that in real life it's not true so it's like they like people will argue that there's like the whole monkey see monkey do kind of thing but is that that obviously we i don't think anyone here thinks that that's an actual thing but I have a lot of people who, I have other people that I've talked to that do believe that, and wow. I don't know. What's your opinion on it, Lewis? You start. That, well, well, that's stupid. I, I, this has been going on for a long, long time with games, with with movies, with uh, uh, music. <laughs> it's 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 always the same media thing. Oh, hey, Metallica caused this person to, you know, cause this person to. Do some violent act, or, or you know, they watch the uh, movie. You know, it's the same story, different uh, subject matter, I suppose. But games are definitely being more targeted. Uh, and my my uh, what I don't understand is why parents are trying to ban some of these games being sold. They, they succeeded, by the way, and I think it was Australia. Uh, GTA 5. They're banned, yeah. And Target. Uh, they can't sell GTA 5. <laughs> but there's a, a rating for these games. For a reason. Right, for a reason. And, and I think that the parents buying these games should look at the damn cover and and realize okay this is not for kids um, I, I realize I didn't answer the question there I kinda went in a tangent but I don't believe that games cause violence whatsoever you know uh, if you're nuts you're nuts you know that's that's what if, I think if anything it it does give uh, a stress reliever or like a sense of at getting your anger out like anything else like oh you're gonna go run to get your anger out oh I'm gonna go kickbox or go boxing or go to the gym like it's the same concept it's just a different medium and a different outlet and it's really just bullshit if you look at any of us A, 3, me, uh, me Nate and Nick are all Eagle Scouts uh, we all work and have our own lives and stuff like I'm not gonna go out buy a gun and go slaughter an entire area that's just that's just stupid if you are as uh, Lewis just said if you're crazy, you're cl crazy. There's no if ands, or about it. It's it's something that's in you or something that changed you and that has nothing at all to do with video games. Like there might be the tiniest bit, but like but you can't judge it just on that. There's so many uh things going towards it. It's just not a control setting that you can say, Oh, video games is the cause for all the death and uh like attempts of killing people from other people it's just it's just stupid well, well yeah that's kind of like what you're saying too it's like you know well, like Lewis said too if you're nuts you're nuts I mean yeah anything can influence people you know like any anything like a game could influence like the way you talk or like a movie can influence the way like you I don't know communicate with someone whatever that is and, you know people have made that argument and I guess you know for the most part that's true but you can't go out and just label that this game caused this guy to go out murder 20 people it's it's like you can't find that link and if you look farther back you say well they fucking did that with Breivik yeah, it was like oh look he had Call of Duty and World of Warcraft exactly it's, it's like, like the Columbine oh yeah, yeah the, the murder too. simulator right it's like the Columbine <laughs> kids too because they're like oh man look at these kids they they play Doom which is like I don't <gasps> know how that to relates to real life they listen to Marilyn Manson they must have like influenced them to go out and kill people it's like yeah, but did you think about the kids who actually did it? You know, because they didn't come from good families or anything. Sure, those games might have influenced them, but at the same point, they're so unrealistic that how could they, you know? It's not like a 8K 
murder simulator on the PC or something like that that shows you like how to murder people and like the pros to doing it, you know? It's like they play Doom. And, mm-hmm. and it's the same thing with Hatred. It's a twin stick shooter top down. With like you a can flame. Take 50 bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Who has a flamethrower? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it's not, it's just not that realistic, you know? Yeah. I think one thing um, that you have to look at is like everyone's like, oh, this one kid when I was shot at school and he played Call of Duty, oh my god. Mm. How look how many kids have played Call of Duty? Exactly. Look at the how many most selling game of the all time. Of there there are risks. There will be a Call of Duty in everyone's home at this point. Right. And if you like look at it, it's like it's the same thing as saying, um, like, like a horror movie. Like every person in America has watched a horror movie. Yeah. There's no, yeah. It's not like they're gonna go be the serial killer in the horror movie or the the demon in the horror movie or something. It's everyone's listened to at least a song by like someone like that people like I don't know any bands that like, everyone's listened to a Metallica song if you haven't listened to a Metallica song at anywhere you what are you doing you have <laughs> not even that it's like you don't even have to like Metallica but it's like if you haven't heard of Metallica like on the radio at like a wedding at, I don't know wedding wedding's a bad choice but uh, it might, <laughs> it might I, be I, I, oh, I, maybe, a rock like, and roll maybe. wedding we play Metallica <laughs> 24-7 <laughs> like, yeah, like right. a fairground or something it's like you you've heard this you've heard the song before and, and it's like, so it's not like just because that, that's what happens. It's like, yeah, it's like, that's, it's so stupid. Uh, you see, that's just the trigger. So what they do is that they train people to go out there and kill. <laughs> and when they hear the song, they get triggered. They might be hearing it, you know, in the carnival. And then they kill all the kids. <laughs> and we need to stop these. <laughs> it's the old explanation. Oh, my <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you know, uh, it's oh funny God. that you kind of mentioned that uh, there. Uh, the gun thing. It's fine oh. that I mentioned murder. You're gonna have to explain this now, Liz. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> because I need you. No. Uh, okay. Now that we're gonna get blocked on Twitch. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we're doing no. conspiracy. <laughs> Don't worry. Hatred's already blocked on Twitch. Way. Uh, okay, what's it? Uh, Fox News was doing a segment on video, violent video games, and uh, they're mentioning. How this kid was playing a violent video game, Call of Duty. They were playing Call of Duty, and apparently, it, Call of Duty taught him how to shoot. Uh, right. No. And, so, and this crazy shoot. kid went on a rampage, and they were so trying to say like that Call of Duty, you press the R2 button in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you, you, you learn how to load a gun and yeah. aim it yeah, properly. Yeah, that's and, such bullshit. <laughs> With like later, I've, I've used I've used 22s before. We use shotguns. Like even that, I've played a shooter game since I was like 10. Probably I don't know. Halo yeah. was the first shooter game. None of that taught me how to actually use a gun. You get taught how to use one in real life. Like if right. you if there's a gun simulator, yeah, that's gonna teach you. But there's no way you can link Call of Duty where you press two buttons to lift up your gun and zoom in. That is ever going to teach you how to properly use one and use it in effect to kill many people. That's such bullshit. Hell, in Call of Duty, you don't even have to press a button to like load your gun. As soon as you roll yeah, out of ammo, it, it just reloads. Yeah, it. like, so. like what? The the people who make these arguments need to be taught like, mm-hmm. and see like the picture that they're trying to draw is completely bonkers. Like, really bonkers. Yeah, it, it's you like. Guys- Right, hear about the the violent uh, game tax that they were trying to pass for a wait, while? Oh violent God. game tax. Like a tax. Violent game, game tax. Next game thing tax. they're going to do is tax my go, tea. Didn't Asks. go through, though. Did not go through. Uh, wait, where did this try to happen? United States. Yeah, wow. Somewhere, somewhere in the United States. Yeah, let's States. tax everything for any reason because we <laughs> like money and we're uh, a dictatorship, but not really a dictatorship because we're there's that communism. Fucking bullshit. Communism, so people. It's still alive. Communism. Just, just to go back for a minute, I, and though what Sean was saying, though, it's like games don't teach you how to like fire guns and stuff like that, or people were claiming they did anyways. It's like we, we've all fired shotguns at some point. And I remember the first time I went to go shoot a shotgun was at like scout camp. And mm-hmm. they, they taught you like the specific pose the way to hold it, because if you don't hold the shotgun this way, you will literally dislocate your shoulder. Your arm's just fucking hanging there, and it's yeah. like, 
holy shit, my arm's fucking broken in half, man. Yeah, and if you didn't it's have... It's almost like Newton's second law or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. That, that I, didn't know, I didn't know there was going to be recoil on this gun. There's no yeah. recoil on Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was trying to three, uh, 360 no-scope. <laughs> 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 oh no -scope. There's Shoot only one the person that I've seen do a 360 no scope with a real gun, and that's uh, uh, what's his name? He he acts like he's Russian. Oh, uh, FPS yes. Russia. Yeah. That's the only person I've seen no 360. Don't no -scope try this at home, kids. You're not. Do not. Do not try this at home. They'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> or shoot your buddy. Yeah, it, on accident. Unless you're Dick Cheney, then, you know. You look like someone, a bird. That's all I have to say. I think. If, I, if, if you're Dick Cheney, then uh, the person that you shoot apologizes to you. I feel we're getting a little bit off track here. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. I think better games. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, one, like, point I would uh, further envelop that Sean mentioned uh, was that video games blows off Steam. Now, we don't know if there's a specific correlation, but as video games get more popular, the less people get murdered, because people are busy. They're too busy. <laughs> They're sitting home playing video games. They're not out getting mad at their friends and then stabbing them in the neck and shit because, you know, they took the beer or something. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, people have there's been known to kill something about video games. Yeah. You know, it's true. I don't know about that one, Frankie. <laughs> What do you mean? I, I mean, know. it makes sense, though. You I mean, know, it does make sense. But that it does make sense. That one might be a tad bit of a stretch. Easier. Oh, look, loser! Oh, you <laughs> fucked he up the whole that. aesthetic. <laughs> he did actually. <laughs> My like beard's it. all cricket fuck. It's, good it's hot. Yeah. I want out of here. <laughs> yeah. Trying to run away from you. You should totally. You say it's a stretch. I, I don't think it is. I think a lot of people like. If you're really mad at someone and it just builds up and you don't blow off your steam somehow, you found video games suddenly and now you can blow off your steam and then you're not so mad anymore and then you might not do something you will later regret. Yeah. It seems to help. <laughs> like there, there has to be, there, there is an obvious correlation here. We don't know how, just how effective it is, but we also, yeah. we have done so many studies like uh, exactly. since the movies, like, oh, is Terminator making people kill each other? Is music making people kill each other? Like Lewis mentioned. And video games, over and over again, it's been proven, like, no, 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 no. Um, fuck me, there was one more thing. Uh, people are uh, stupid. Uh, oh, no, that wasn't it? Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> stupid. Oh. And, like, the, the same thing, like, you say that there's no, cor like, there's no proven correlation. There's no proven correlation that it does cause people to go out and do it. It's all assumptions, and assumptions make asses out of people. Oh, it's uh, ass, you and you me. And, oh. Yeah, I didn't want to say you and me because oh. it's not going to make an ass out of me because I didn't assume. I was looking at this one pro argument, though, of why, uh, or, or allegedly, why people think that video games do cause violence. And apparently one of the pro reasons is that it um, increases the amount of people... That, or amount of males, I think that women want to be raped, but they don't say it outright. <laughs> Who thinks right. that? Like, Apparently, how can you f mentally think that without having some mental issue? I think there's a jump there. Like, there are, like, look, now we're getting into the masonistic cap. So, the, the opinions of Frankie does not necessarily represent the opinions of the cow cost. Um, but, like, there are some women that uh, they like when, you know, a man takes charge. Like, they, they might not do anything, and there's like, oh, well, well, why didn't you, like, after a while, it's like, oh, we had a really good time. Like, why didn't anything happen? Like, oh, I, I, thought, I thought you were really into me, like, kind of stuff. Like, they, they want you to take that action. However, there seems to be a huge, like, leap from that to rape. And somewhere along the Fox lines, that line has been blurred. I don't know how. <laughs> That's the problem. It's just, yeah. It's, it's, very, it's, it's very strange. But uh, now I remember the last point I was going to make. Um, I think it was Nate who pointed out the, the monkey see, monkey does. Uh, if you watch Terminator, you, you visually see like Terminator go around shooting everyone. But if you're in a video game, and I think that's why people are so much on video games, because now you're not watching it, you're actually committing the action. You're actually like shooting pixels. It's like, oh, you, you just virtually murdered someone, kind of thing. <laughs> it's like, no, it's Call of Duty, it's online. Oh, you, you literally killed someone's player. So I think that is a big part of why people are like so much into it. Because if you see a movie, you can't influence it. But if you play a game, you you may be able to influence its outcomes. Yeah, no, I think I don't know. I, th I still think it's, it's 
sense. Like, it's just stupid. I think there's a lot of other factors that affect how people how people act. Yeah. Like, I have friends... Well, sure, but I'm saying that, that is most likely why people jump on it and like, oh, this is why this is bad and so bad. Right, right okay. Like drugs? <laughs> well, yeah. The topic drugs. for another day. Drugs, <laughs> drugs, parents, like, there's a different... There's, like, totally different things. Like, you... I think people Someone need to learn. On here. I think people need to learn what is actually going to affect your child's development and your behavior. Yeah, I don't know. Hashtag get on it, parents. Get on yeah. it, parents. Hashtag okay. Don't be a bad parent. I think we've spent. We're gonna long take in... that out of context. I... It's like hashtag get on it, parents. They're like, yes, we need to ban video games. They are right, the cow cast. <laughs> they are right, the cow cast. The definitive <laughs> source. No, I think we gotta okay, move on next to the topic. next. We, we have, yeah. We've talked about this We're way running. too long. All right, Jurassic World. It's okay. Go. It's good. Dinosaurs. Whoa. Dinosaurs. Fourth Lew one. Lewis. Dinosaurs. Pick the camera. Yes. Don't pick the camera. <laughs> Sorry. It's a, it's a laptop camera. What do you want me to do? I've had to I change it. Not turn it off. Well, because every time you turn the <laughs> camera, you screw up Nick's camera. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. So That's I gotta screw. I gotta fix it. Transition effect in. Turn it off. I can't even see it. To be honest, it's like still swirling. So just turn turn it off and we're done. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I now we're All good. Right. Okay. The smoke effect. The smoke effect. We need a smoke, smoke machine. We need a fog machine. Oh, I got Jurassic World. Got one. Ah. Jurassic World. Go. Jurassic World. Frankie, go. It's going to be great. Okay. So, the Jurassic World, um, me and Nate talked a little bit about this, and I said, we need to save this for the show. Right. Uh, he, when he linked the IMDb page, it has like 8.7 now. Now, it's not out in like cinemas in Sweden, for instance. I don't know if it's, it's out not, anywhere. No, I don't think it's out anywhere. Okay. okay. So, but there's 2,500 people that supposedly have seen it, or uh, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I, like, I really want to see where that number ends up in like a week or something. Because when I saw that stuff, it was like, oh, this is just shovelware. Like, I, I don't see this being a good movie at right, all. Right. For the main reason, like, d d the first script that was released, um, or leaked, actually, about Jurassic World, they were not making this, uh, they were not making the storyline of Jurassic Park 3, where there was a super dinosaur, like they're doing now. They had a script where it was like, there were dinosaurs, and they crossbred them with humans. Humanosaurs. Like, they were literally doing that. And it was like, dude, what? And you saw all these, like, raptor dudes with, like, feathers and, like, human hands and stuff. It was like, oh, this, no, no, no. But no, luckily, they, luckily they did not go down that route. But yeah. if that was the original plan, I don't think the backup was any better. And one of the first shots you actually see in the trailer, which just, like, sealed the deal for me, was all the other movies have taught us one thing so hard. It's smashed into our DNA. We cannot control these things. What is the first thing he does? He's like, oh, I am the Dino Whisperer, and he's like, you doing too? The fucking dinosaur going over like, oh. He's still like running with the raptors and shit. Like, I, I only imagine like when they did the shot when, when he's on the fucking motorcycle, yeah. and he has the raptors next to him. Right. I was like, yeah, dudes, I know what you want to do. Just remove the motorcycle, put him on a raptor, like give it laser guns. That's what you want to do. Just do it. <laughs> stop, stop, stop beating around the bush. Just do it. <laughs> That's all I have to say on the matter. It, I, I, I don't think it would. It will be good. They it seems has, has have no direction. They always like made up the Velociraptors like, holy shit, Velociraptors are the worst thing since Hitler. Don't mess with them, they're gonna <laughs> mess you up. And then in this movie, they're just like, yo, Velociraptors unless, are great. Unless, yeah. It's like, what the hell? Unless it's a Velociraptor with a Hitler mustache. I think I played a game like that, actually. Can't control those. <laughs> no, okay, okay. So, All right, so I'm agreeing with Frankie that I, it honestly cannot be that good. Just like look at the trailer. It won't live up to the hype. It won't, li it, it won't. It live up to the hype. You can't judge it on what came before it. Yeah. So like, if you look at the, if you look at the the trailer, it's like generic. It's a gen very generic storyline. There's so not, there's going to be absolutely yeah. no plot. Mm -hmm. There's going to be sure graphics are going to be cool. Dinosaurs, oh my god! You go, you you know exactly what's going to happen. Some people are going to die. Well, Alien dinosaurs. I almost said aliens. Dinosaurs are going to escape. They're going to kill people, and they're going to kill other dinosaurs. You're going to kill the black guy. And then first. Chris Platt is going to kill the dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> this is this is true. 
That's Confirm. the storyline. I just told you the movie. I saved you all eleven dollars or whatever. So, it cost so what's the PG on this movie, though? <laughs> well, does anyone want to know what the PG rating for this movie is? Uh, probably. I'm assuming because PG thirteen. PG thirteen. Yeah. I don't know what it is over it's there. It's 124 minutes. How long were the other ones? The other ones seem like they're. Well, I don't know. They might be that long. Well, they all seem to have the same certificate. So, because Nate mentioned, like, oh, some people are going to die, and, you know, my first reaction from seeing this footage is that they're making a movie for, like, only the kids kind of stuff. So, I don't even think we will see, like, blood. You, okay, I, don't, that, I think that's true. Mm -hmm. I, don't think, I don't think you'll see blood, but you can, like, in the trailer, you see, like, ter like pterodactyls, like, carrying people away. Yeah, you won't see gore. I don't think you yeah, but, yeah, but like they're, no, no, they're, they're dead, don't but they're gonna die later. It was, right. it, like in the first Jurassic Park, there was this scene with the T Rex that picked up uh, the the little CGI. What was he? He was a lawyer from the bathroom, yeah. and yeah. that shit was scary as fuck. But it was like, hilarious at the that same was. time, though. Yeah, yeah I, I was very young when I watched that shit. It was like, <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, uh, yeah, it had a little bit of funniness to it, but. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, of course, there was the, the hand that goes on the female doctor, and we have uh, Jeff Goldblum with blood all, er, all over his, like, sweaty chest and stuff. <laughs> like, there were some sexist oh, things going yeah. on there. <laughs> I think nice. we'll just miss on all of that. Like, people, they won't even break sweat in this movie. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised. Anyone's going to be scared. Anyone's going to be shocked at it. Well, they're going to shock yeah. that it, it sucks. It won't be but, as good as the originals. It, could, it can't be. It won't live up to the nostalgia of the uh, originals. Right. It just can't. No. But then again, if you don't you know, judge those two in the same boat, it might be a good movie. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. So. Um, yeah. I think I think that IMDB rate, IMDB, yeah, uh, I always get the B and the D mixed up um, when I say it, but I think it's gonna, it's definitely going to drop. I'm pretty sure that's like new movie hype, and I, th I think a lot of movies before it's actually released in theaters has that hype. But, be, but like, but Mad, like Mad Max has 8.6, like, and yeah. what other movies? Like, there's, there's. Did you know that Mad Max have in the trailer? Because I know in Jurassic World was complete bullshit. But in Mad Max, there was only 15 minutes of the of the movie was put into the trailer. The first 15 minutes. In Jurassic World, that's like the first fucking two hours. <laughs> I yeah. already know what's happening. Yeah, we're you, just the yeah, last two know, hours. You know what's going to happen. And okay, so I'm looking at other movies on IMDb that have uh, 8.7 ratings. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, arguably the highest rated Star Wars. Uh, Forrest Gump, Inception, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, so the second one. Uh, Star Wars Episode Four, The Hope, I'm just Seven Samurai, The Matrix, uh, City of God, The Silence of the Lambs. Actually, that has, Silence of the Lamb has eight point six. But so like, there's no way I don't. There's no way Jurassic with the new Jurassic Park is gonna compete with those. Where, you also have to look at the number of people that have watched it, rated it, compared to this. It's very well, small, right. critic-wise as well. So where, it's going to drop a lot. Where was the number that you, you found? 2,500 people or something? Uh, it's on IMDb. It says, B. Right. It says uh, 2,700 users have given the rating to Jurassic World, and it's currently at 8.7. Right. And the first user review. I and the review. See, the first user. And the reviews, reviews are nine critics and thirteen users. That is actually written reviews. All the other ones have been just been, I guess, yeah, <laughs> just so, press random numbers maybe. Well, the first, the first review is three stars, and the title is "Sorry to Disappoint, but it isn't good. The script is terrible and predictable from beginning to end." Yep. Well, to well, be, to well, be honest, I've been looking at the director the and the writers and stuff, and we see the guy who made the cost, he was for the other Jurassic Parks, which got progressively worse. So I guess he's had some Alzheimer's going on at this point. <laughs> but the other people, they have been in all the shit you have never heard about. And a lot of uh, Rise of the Planets of the Apes, those kind of movies. Right. So, whoa, I'm whoa, whoa. so I think we're going to get that kind of feel. Where right. it's like, it, it's, it, it's made for kids, really. Rise of the Planets of the Apes was d terrific. The new ones were good. The new ones. Yeah, well, I, haven't, I haven't seen those. They're, they're pretty they're, good. Those are good. They're pretty yeah. good. Like, uh, sure, uh, I saw like, the first one, and, and it was uh, yeah, I liked it. It, 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 was like, it was a decent movie. They're obviously like predictable. I mean, you know what's going to happen, but like they they were good Spoiler movies. Spoiler alert: monkeys take over. Oh shit! <laughs> Holy shit! So, <laughs> so like that's a good question too. Are we going to get like a Planet of the Apes like Jurassic Park, where it's like it's like entertaining to watch, but we, like we know what's going to happen. And it's like mm, I don't oh know. oh, you see the trend here. This means. I think, yes, I think I know what's going to happen here. Reboots. The dinosaurs are going to take over the park. 
Whoa. Yeah. Damn. I think it's just going to be possible. way too corny and not well filmed uh, compared to like Planet of the Apes. And also to make a point out there, you can register on whatever website this is. And uh, you can rate the movie without even seeing it. Like, I could give 10 stars right now and not give a fucking fuck I'm about it. Fuck. So, to be honest, this rating's complete bullshit without actually seeing right. every single user, in my opinion. All right. I don't know. We got botted last week or two weeks ago for the stream, so it's not that hard to fake results and make your movie look better. Yeah. And I just want to say It's been done in the past. It's awesome. been done. Just don't everything. expect anything, people. Yeah. That's my only thing. Yeah, let's post that in chat. Cause I, was, I, was, I don't know. I thought that poster too for the the movie. I know it's a little bit off topic, but like that poster about, was like kind of cool. What That's about the new great. Terminator? I know it's off subject. But. No, we'll save that one for next week. That's a yeah, good topic for next week. Day, yeah. We'll send that. We'll save that one for next week, though. Yeah. Good topic, though, Which Lewis. Because that's like a yeah. sim. That's a similar story thing that we have to discuss. All right. I think we're on to. We're to oh, everyone good with Jurassic World. Yes, this is going on very long, but we have a lot of interesting <laughs> topics with interesting okay. people, so it's worth it. E3 going. hype. With interesting guests. Oh, thank you. you know well, thank you. You're here every week if you want to be. Um, yeah. All right, so mm -hmm. E3 hype. Get hyped. You're going to be awesome. Get hyped. E3, yep. for those who don't know, I'm Thank assuming you. if you're watching a Twitch stream, you know. But it's like the gaming, the huge electronic gaming, electric. like, announcement conference kind of thing, electronic conference. Well, everything gaming is released there or announced there. Most and, stuff, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Pick a game that you're excited for. Discuss why. What would be I your favorite four. game? What would be the game? Lewis that, goes first. What would be the ideal game that you would want made and announced at E3? Down. Lewis, go first. Arc. Ark looks awesome. Was well, that even going to yeah. be at E3? Yeah, there I don't. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Talks about. It's like an it's like an indie like dinosaur game like dinosaur survival. Oh, it's now basic, I know it. It's yeah, isn't it selling like hotcakes on Steam? Yeah. yeah, it's slated for console release too. So apparently there's actually like oh. a time when it's supposed to be done. So yeah, I guess yeah. It'd be. it's doing pretty well on streaming too. It's got thirty one. Well, so, so it's early uh, access. Then. Thousand yeah, it's early access to the current. Moment. It, it uh, apparently is a which is why good early it. access. Whatever yeah, it's the, it's uh, the number one top seller on Steam. It's yeah. the, it's, it's beating I, Witcher and Fallout. But we do not pre-order. <laughs> well, we don't which really are, yeah, but like, you can't judge the uh, Fallout because it's not even out, so it's pre-order. Yeah, yeah. But also, it's it's in the top three rating for stream videos right now and the amount of people watching, so that's pretty impressive for a game that's new. Yeah, That is. All right. So that's the game you want to see more from, obviously, as it oh, yeah. continues development. Yeah. And then what would be your, like, if you had to choose one game, like, it doesn't need, like, a name, it could you could... Make it like a sequel to a series, or just like describe the game that you would want announced this year at E3. A non-crappy Rainbow Six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, um, it's on the list. It's yeah. on the list. Well, Rainbow Six Siege. I want like the old Rainbow Sixes, where it's like one bullet, you're dead. SWAT five. There we go. All right. That's that's what I'm talking about. All right, Hardcore. Frankie, go for it. Oof. Uh, honestly. I'm going to be boring, but I'm going to say Fallout 4. That's what I really wanted, and it's what I'm going to get. They, they might as well just show the trailer and, like, coming 2017. I'll be like, all right. I mean, I already came when I watched the trailer, so. <laughs> wow, <laughs> by all yeah. means. Oh, fuck yeah. I had to say it. <laughs> uh, but what other game would I want? Then? You know, I'm excited about, it, like, some of the smaller titles. Like, there has been hints about a new Walking Dead from Telltale, yeah, and I'm, yes. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of those games. So, yeah, I, I want to see if there's going to be another Telltale. Right. No spoilers. I just, I just want to see if there's going to be another one of those Walking Dead. I'll, I, I do want that, and that's me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go and next. Thanks. Okay. Well, I would say Fallout 4, but, you know, Frankie said Fallout 4, so I'll let him take that. The game that I am excited for which, honestly, some of you might not even remember. And, like, I saw it on this list, and I'm like, there's no way that this game is being made. Crackdown. Remember that game, Crackdown? Why does this sound familiar? Remember, like, uh... What? Yeah, it was on the Xbox. It was, like, uh... Oh. It had an interesting aesthetic. It, was, it looked, like, comic booky. They made, like, oh, a Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Like, the super cop guy, and then, like, you had to fight criminals or something. Something like that. You had to like kill all the high value targets or whatever. 
And like, it actually looked really cool. Then I saw, yeah. I think, it wasn't it an um, Xbox One exclusive? It is an Xbox I, One exclusive. Yeah, I'm and then I was like, meh. I'm still pumped, though. I mean, even just to see something on that, because I remember playing the crap out of that game, and that was awesome. So I, I recall yeah. that game now. Yeah, that would be my game that I want, because it's allegedly on the list. So. All right. What would, that's the game you want? But what game that would is, you want to see more of that's on the list? So you already used that one. Well, that, that is a game that I want to see more of that's on the list. That, oh, that's... fuck me. I'm changing my opinion. I'm changing my opinion. Fuck, fuck, uh, fuck the walking dead to hell with that. Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Deus Ex Motherfucking Mankind Divided. Okay. I'm interrupting the show. <laughs> Deus Ex, motherfuckers. It's game over. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. That's mine. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Go on. Okay. If I, if I had to pick a game that wasn't on this list that I want, it's, it's weird. I, I want Rising or not Rising Storm. Red Orchestra three. That's oh damn! Okay. Okay. That's, oh, okay. that's a good answer. And I want it to be that's on the good. Western Front, and maybe even like North Africa or something like that. That'd be cool, because you know, they're still equal. You can have like British and Americans fighting Germans, all that stuff. It'd be cool. I don't know. Or Vietnam, you know. Yeah. Well. I, w- I w- Okay. I would. Want, I would want a Red Orchestra three too. But go for it, Sean. Um. So my, well, I had four ones that I want to see on that list is Mad Max, Halo 4, Lego Jurassic World, just for the lulls, and Rainbow Six. It's Halo 5, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah, Halo 5. But uh, the game, I kind of, I don't know. Nick brought up the point of Mad Max is going to be more of based off this, the movie, but I think it could still hold its ground. It's not going to be the best and, like, it's going to have a shitty storyline because that's going to be based off the movie that I've already seen. But I think it, it could be interesting in a sense. But um, and then really Rainbow Six. I don't know. I'm. I want to see how that actually plays out and uh, doesn't get messed up, or if it does Give get me messed that. up. All right, what game would you want completely? I want. I want a survival game that is not fucking alpha, not a beta. I want a full finished game that gets updated Pops. regularly. Pops. Ain't gonna fucking happen. Son. <laughs> I know it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna ever happen. <laughs> We have, have the it's stomping not, ground. If you have a survival forest, game, it's Day not Z, like the survival arc. genre. It's will this game survive? Will it make yeah. it to the finish line? <laughs> I, I want a game that's like that, but I also like I want it to be a good version of Ark. Because like I was looking at the stomping ground, that died obviously. The forest is a good game in my opinion. Ark looks too cartoony for me, so it's like I want an in between great video game with good graphics that's like dinosaur forest related kind of deal. The forest like, and the that's all I want. exactly the same graphic wise. No. Uh, you obviously have not looked at them. Uh, I compare sorry. Ark towards Firefall for graphics and shitty oh, quality I, cartoony. Okay. No, you, you can't go that far. Oh yeah you can. If you, you look did. at the people she and the, the maps and the vegetation it's not even close to the forest. It is an alpha though. It is, it is, yeah, it is an alpha, and so it is the forest. The forest is a little bit more of an alpha, but still. There's pre, pre. You can't, al- you can't subject. say that they're the same graphics. That's all I'm saying. Okay. There's pre alpha builds of the games now. A little off subject. Speaking towards, uh, speaking towards Rainbow Six Siege, I played the alpha. It was pretty fun, mm-hmm. Ooh. but I could see it being really? like to the point where you just stop. You just stop playing it because it gets boring. So did I. That's um, what I saw. So, like so a, would you describe it like as when you started playing Counter Strike Go, and then you were like, meh, and then you could get all those shit for your weapons. And you were like, oh, best game ever. Well, it it's like, like there's nothing really pulling you back for the, some strange reason. Well, well, he doesn't like Counter Strike. <laughs> I don't really like Counter Strike. <laughs> so I never liked Counter Strike. Yeah. But um, there's like there was one. There was like one aspect to it, like the, the the game was fun, but there was only one game where you were like played, and it was like it was like super search and destroy, it was super tactical search and destroy, and I thought it was very cool because of like all the tactics you could use as your team and like you actually like communicate with your team and like all the different devices you could place down, but like I think I think the game is gonna not look much different than what I saw already, so that's why I'm not I probably am not buying it, but. You, you you look at it and uh, they're com- like they're the main advertising point that they have for the game is like you have like oh there's so many different operatives every play style is different every class is different or like you, and you only one person can have that operator 
but it was literally like a preset class that had like one different item than the other preset class and like the other 20 preset classes and it's like you had a different name your character had a different name but like there was fundamentally not that many items that it would make 20 classes like that much different and that much more tactical like obviously you had to choose what you wanted to make it go but yeah we'll see when beta so, comes out and more so games. it is like people expected your soldier guy 1 to 20 yeah, pretty much. It's it's yeah. not like right. it's not like their class means a whole heck of a lot. I mean, obviously there's tactical choices and like wh whether you want to blow open a wall or set up a shield. But like it's not to the point where it's a revolutionary game changing. Like you didn't even need to communicate with your team on what class you were taking. It's it's kind of just like you still play as the police, which, you know, it's it's like police with massive fire power. Wait, you it's don't like, get oh, to play as terrorists? No, you do. No, you do. You, you do. S you okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying. There's like, there's nothing revolutionary because it's like, oh, you're playing as police. Yeah, you're playing as American <laughs> police. They're basically soldiers. So what happens? Well, I, I, I kind of yeah. like the the idea of the smaller setting. Yeah. That no, it, it's but, it really mm -hmm. felt to me like the, the tower yeah. defense kind of thing, the where the terrorists are like making walls and stuff. No, it's pretty it's intense. Pretty, yeah. We gotta route the police. So the way the game works <laughs> oh. is, if you haven't seen a video. The, the terrorists spawn like 30 seconds before, they get to set up everything, and then the police spawn with little rolly camera things during that, that 30 second like setup period, and their goal is to find out where, because where the terrorists are set up in that map, because you can set up in different, like, and spawn in different areas of that map. So the goal is the little like rolly camera things is to try to find the people and where the hostages are. And then the police can go in the map if you find it or if you don't find the hostage. And basically, it's, it's a hold down defend thing until you gotta like breach the room through different entrances and uh, yeah, hope you don't get shot in the back or a different side or like yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty intense. You know now, how many lives do you have? Uh, uh, Nate, Nate, how would the game work if you removed the little camera that the police get? Because I think. I think that's a missed opportunity. It sounds more like, oh, there's this big house, and the terrorists get to decide which room they're going to bunker up in. It sounds more fun if, right, you, if, 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 you're, uh, um, if you got your police dudes and you sneak through the house not knowing where they actually are because they're most likely camping you know, right. at points anyway. Right. But if you but sneak it all out, it's like, oh, they're up there and they're up there. Okay, let's all storm that place now. It there sounds more fun if you right. tactically go through room to room. There was one... The house map that you're talking about, you saw in like the, the, the trailer at E3 last year, that one mm. would work that way. But they also gave you an airplane oh. map where oh. potentially if you, you could cover the entire plane if you split up, but potentially if you get into the plane and like stayed as one unit, potentially you're not going to be able to clear every room before the time runs out. If you don't oh, know so the map. The if you don't know the map. Like if you know the map, you could essentially work in teams of two and just like and then just yell it out in chat and everyone will know exactly where you are. But is there any RNG to the maps? RNG. Like in payday you no. Yeah, like in payday where some doors would just disappear the other time you do the heist and stuff. So. Oh I, th no, I, th I think no. that's sad as well. I mean that would be really fun. That would be cool. But no, there's no it's it's what God the damn map it. is the same every time. <laughs> it's the oh Damn, Rainbow Six is starting to let yeah, me down. Yeah, starting to like yeah, but all no, the disappointments like, just raining down. Wait, oh, no. be soft game no, letting you down. But you can it's like set up in different rooms. That's impossible. <laughs> but like the way you set up in different rooms and like the way which wall you reinforce and which door you board up is like different, and that kind of makes it you a little bit better, sucks. but not sucks. yeah, not as well as like a payday. But all right. So um, let's. Uh, I'm gonna give my game. Uh, I'm really hyped for uh, a little bit more on the division to determine whether or not I'm going to buy it uh, when it comes out. I want to see more on Halo Five. Like actual. Actually, no. I don't really care about Halo Five. I mean, I'm gonna get it anyway. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be much different than Halo Four. I'm just getting it solely for the story, not the not the camp, not the multiplayer anymore. Because I'm over that. Um, what else? Uh, actually, the one thing I'm really looking forward to, and this is going to count as my game that like I would want to see made, is I'm hoping the Viscral project. It says Star Wars Viscral project uh, at the EA show, and I'm really hoping 
that if it's a Star Wars game, that it's a uh, Republic Commando 2. Because the Republic Commandos is right. by far like the best. It came out in like 2004, by far the best Star Wars like campaign game that I've played. Like you, obviously you're not going to beat Battlefront multiplayer, but Star Wars Battlefront or Star Wars Republic Commandos, man, that's the way to go. Best storyline I've ever played. They left it on a huge cliffhanger, expecting a second one, and it never came. So hoping that everyone reboot they reboot that as they as the like as they're rebooting Star Wars Battlefront. Hopefully, uh, there's battles in space in that one. Maybe Star Wars. Well, there's not going to be because that's not the type of game it is. <laughs> but okay, start so, crying now, boys. I think now we're over with the E3 hype. We'll obviously get into more E3 hype when stuff is not announced or like next week when E3 is actually going on. Uh, but for now, we're going to move on to some viewer topics. So we're going to give you two minutes. Throw any questions or viewer topics you want to discuss. Keep them short if you can. Because yeah, we're, we're well we're, over our a lot of time slot. <laughs> we're well over the the hour we usually do this for, the hour 15 we usually uh, do this for. But that's well, totally okay. Yeah. So if you want to ask us a question or give us a quick topic we can discuss, we'll run through it quickly. And we'll probably do about like two or three topics depending on the length. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we ran over because we had such fantastic guests, as always, and we had a group of fantastic topics here for us to debate about. So there you go. I think so. I think those topics were good. I think this... and, and the good guests, like us, eh? Yeah, and Frank, mm-hmm. having Frankie helps Indeed. a lot. Yeah, I might be a reoccurring thing. You know, so nice. Every week. Yeah. We'll have to find out week, next man. week, folks. We'll have to fix the uh, the little. Yeah, because you know this show is like four fixed. o'clock in the morning for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Forgot about that. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, the little graphics thing was fixed. Fit, fixed uh, like forty-five minutes ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> what br? How do you like? Yeah, I'm excited for Fallout Four too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too, what Jared. Yeah. Me too. Great. English, Jared. Right, Sixty seconds. Don't be poster, smoking that. Uh, 60 seconds to post your viewer topic, or we're going to close down the show, wrap up the show. Also, this uh, this show today was sponsored by uh, the state of Fucking Lithuania. <laughs> so just so you know, um, they, they don't like violent video games. They like games about, you know, doing violence to Russians, though. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it's controversial, but $15 million. Yeah. From the Any country banks to of Lithuania. Lithuania. The true crazy. champions in Lithuania, man. Oh yeah, true champions. Okay. Which one was the uh, one that banned Minecraft for being too violent? Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you beat the Turkey. poor trees. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're not getting any viewer questions this week. So everyone, thanks for watching the Cowcast. Make sure to check out my buddies here at all their social media links. And make sure to hit that follow button here on the Sean Bod channel. We do this every Monday at 8 p.m. EST. We might bump it up a little bit to accommodate Frankie a little bit better. And so stay tuned for that next week. And we hope to see you all back next week. Hit that follow button again. Become a bro vine today. Join the herd. And join the herd. Because Cowcast, like, puns. Everyone have a wonderful evening. We'll see you guys next time. 420, blaze it.